Kentucky. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the greatest NWA champion of all time, Nature Boy, Rick Everyone is on their feet in this sold out crowd, paying their respects to the greatest of all time, Ric Flair. Uh, and and I, think, I think sometimes that greatest of all time, that goat is overused. This is not the case. This is the greatest of all time. The woos throughout this building are deafening right now. You this guys are great. right next to me. I can hardly hear you. I can't all hear you people. guys either. Great tonight. Look at him. Every single last fan here in the Chase Ballroom on their feet for the Nature Boy Ric Flair. What an amazing welcome. So much respect. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry yet. I'll cry at the end. I want to tell you what I did yesterday. Yesterday, I signed autographs with Pete Rose. I got, well, I started to have a couple of drinks with Dennis Rodman. I called Charles Barkley. Some girl told me I couldn't call Darius Rucker, so I called Darius. I talked to Lawrence Taylor, too. Do you know why? Because I was the NWA champion. And they all grew up. That's why the NWA, no matter what anybody says, thinks, or wants to try and prove, to somebody will never be gone because of people like you. And as long as I'm alive, I won't let you forget it. Now, I'm gonna go back because this was my home. I lived and died, no. I lived and died to be in St. Louis. Now, let me entertain you. I got to give you a story here. You've all heard it. I got to say thank you to some people. And I asked Mr. Corrigan, I said, I said, can I have a minute to speak? He said, you're Ric Flair, you can do what you want. I haven't heard, I haven't heard that in a long time. So let me do this. I want to thank my beautiful wife, Wendy. For every time I fell down, she picked me up. Just like Triple H picked me up, just like Sean picked me up, just like Tiger picked me up, just like Austin picked me up, just like everybody. Vince McMahon, I love you. Thank you. That's why I'm here. That's why. I'm here. And you know what? Vince McMahon's not going to watch this, but he's going to hear about it. He's going to say, Ric Flair's back where he belongs with anybody he wants to be with on a given night. <laughs> that I have deserved that right. And Hunter, thank you for every time you told me that I was Ric Flair to go out and be the best I could be because I let myself down night after night. He would not give up. 
but he didn't care about my WCW run. Hunter grew up on the NWA. And guess what's hanging in his office? Not the WWE belt, but the NWA belt he bought from me. And Shawn Michaels, who carried me at the age of 59 through WrestleMania, thank you again. Taker, Taker, who carried me at WrestleMania. Thank you, Steve Austin, who every time I'm with, asked me to tell him an NWA story. What like this? What was Harley really like? Ricky, Ricky, yeah. Ricky, I'm gonna give you a Harley race. Let's be at the keel, okay? Harley, Ricky, tonight you're gonna catch one on Brody whether he likes it or not. Okay, Harley. <laughs> You go tell Brody. I walk over to Brody. I go, Frank, what do you want to do? Okay. I'll get with you later on. Harley, <laughs> what did Brody say? <laughs> said he'd get with me later on. <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> we got to go an hour tonight, man, and we did. But the list of people I mean, I want you to think about this. In this very hotel, I wrestled Dick the Bruiser. Harley Race. Terry Funk. Dory Funk. Jack Briscoe. Ted DiBiase. Baron Von Raschke. Black Jack Lanza. Name it, I wrestled him here. And if you start with every big star from Hulk to Stone Cold to Hunter to Sean, take it, run down the list. You know what they grew up on? The NWA. And that's why they respect the brand and they respect me. Because they know that I went to work, they know that on Friday I wrestled an hour in Columbus, Ohio. Caught the first plane to make Atlanta TV. Did two shows in Atlanta. Caught a jet to wrestle somewhere else for an hour. To get on a plane to fly in here to make St. Louis TV. <laughs> Only to catch another plane to wrestle another hour and to get drunk all night long. Yeah. Hell yeah! That's what being the world champion did. You think that I'm the only world champion that's been divorced? I don't think so. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> hey! Sam Mushnick with a great payoff. Your main event? At the keel, you got $6,000 cash. By the time I got done with the landing, through the St. Louis, over to Delta, I might have had 1,200 bucks. And then I got a shoe shine and gave the guy a $200 tip. Then I probably gave him bartender on the way to the gate, another hundred dollars tip. You know why? Because I was the NWA world champion. And everybody knew how hard I worked. You know, here's my world now. And I want you to think about this. I'm bragging because I'm happy. And so is Vince McMahon, so is Tony Khan, Billy Corgan, wrestling, they're wrestling, we need brands. There's a lot of guys that want to wrestle that can't be in WWE. A lot of guys can't wrestle, can't be in AEW. They can come here now. They can be part of this. And you know what's nice about me is I can be here tonight, fly to Chicago, 
go see Steve McMichael tomorrow and have a drink with Tony Khan Thursday night. And sit in the front row and watch Chris Jericho, who watched me, Russell Bockwinkle, for an hour in Winnipeg as the NWA champion. He never forgotten it. And as for you guys, the greatest fans, I want to make it very clear. Well, no, 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 no. I love you, but I want to make it clear. I went from being this, knowing I was so good, to getting my hair cut, almost put the earring on, buried in the desert, head shaved, back on nitro, last match, I wore a shirt, I looked like crap, Sting had a bad shoulder, and I did a great match, Vince insisted, now you're gonna wrestle. I said, I looked like crap, he said, wrestle, it's you. So, so then the next day, Jim Ross called me, he said, hey, you wanna come to work? I said, man, God, when? I didn't hear from him for a year and my life was over because I knew that I had gone out far less than what I had come in as. Because when you walk in this town, this isn't Madison Square Garden, but damn it, it's St. Louis, Missouri. And if you were... Uh, and then Vince called and Vince said, you'll never have to wrestle, just talk. Well, within six months, he had me wrestling. He lied. And then Hunter said, how about Wrestle Undertaker? Okay, really, I'm scared to death. T take it right here. Can you make it this time, kid? Whoop, yep, we did. Thank you, Taker. Thank you, Hunter Sean. I want to thank Randy Orton and his dad. Shout out. I wanted Randy to break my record until the Queen went 12. That's only four away. So here's to the Queen. Here's to my other daughter, Megan, my son, David. They all, they all live the nightmare of having the NWA World Champion of the Father. I'm sorry. I can't make up for it. But tonight, all I can do is tell you, Billy Corgan, thank you so much for calling me. When I got the call, when I got the call, I thought they wanted me to have a title shot with Nick. Oh, yeah. Then they saw me in the ring with Manny chopping away. Oh, yeah. It's feeling good. Woo! <laughs> but he just said, Rick, I just need you to talk. And okay, I can do that. Hell, I would have done it for nothing. He still paid me. I know I'm running long. I just want to say thank you. Really. No. Thank you. I hope I shout out everybody. Wendy, I know my phone is blowing up. I love you, baby. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm thanking every one of you fans, thanking every wrestler, doesn't matter what company they're in, that remembers me, has treated me fairly, and has given me the respect that the NWA, WWE gave to me. Thank you. God bless you, NWA!